If you are struggling to write that perfect business plan for your music school or studio, I will share these essential steps to creating a business plan that always works. I use this exact formula to grow my music schools to six figures. And today I'm helping you write your business plan. So if you have a bit of writing paralysis and struggling to know what to include in your business plan, today you have landed in the right place. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I post new weekly videos on helping you grow your music studio. Creating your music school business plan. The business plan that always works. Let's jump straight in. So what is a business plan and how can it serve your life, your family, your community and your business to a continual path of growth both financially and having the most impact on your students or your future students. So a business plan is an anchor for future decisions. So if you're the type of person like me, where I'm kind of easily drawn to these shiny objects, I want to be doing one thing and another thing. And ultimately, if you're trying to do everything, you're literally doing nothing. So a business plan is something that you can always come back to for making the right decisions for your business. So it's an anchor for future decisions. It's also a combination of things that are really important to you, both your family life, your financial life, and ultimately the impact you want to have. And it's the kind of uh, business and school you want to have. So if um, you've been looking online or other videos and kind of getting ideas of, of other business plans, which is great, but ultimately you want to live, this business plan wants to come from you and your own values and discovering those values and ultimately, we're creating this powerful document that people will read and, and be inspired by. If that's your um, employees, if that's family, they can read this document and really get a sense of what you are about. Okay. Ultimately, we want to write this document that it feels very emotional to you and very powerful. So when we read this daily, you can just like get into a space where you're more likely to take action on it because it's about you and not about somebody else. Very important. Okay, so it's, it's also a little bit of a vision. We're putting ourselves one to three years out of how we want things to look. So there's a an element of dreaming involved in, in writing a business plan and a vision. So my, um, my advice here is to draft this, but also dream. I mean, when was the last time you, you dreamt about what you really wanted in life? And um, this is why this document is gonna be really important because it's gonna allow you to dream again and really connect with yourself about what you want in life and what you want for others. Okay, so it's a different way of thinking about it. Most business plans just give you the how-tos, but today we're thinking, I'm teaching you to think about this in a different way, okay? And it's just incredibly powerful. Okay, let's jump on to the next page. You can download a free template for writing the most powerful business plan, and you can access this through the link in the description. So first we want to ask ourselves some really powerful clarity questions because no clarity, no change. So again, this is a participation 
um, video, so please have a pen and a pencil so you can take some notes. So from the heart, I want you to really imagine the impact you want your school to have on your students. So for me, I'm just going to give you some examples here. My impact and what always comes back is that my students grow in confidence. So the impact is that I, I help students, obviously I'm helping them learn guitar, but as a byproduct of that, the impact I'm having is that they gain confidence and that shows and that grows to every area of the life. Okay, so what impact could your school have? Something to think about and please make notes. Okay, we're going to jump on to the second one, which is how many students are you enrolling? So we're going to engineer this backwards. So how many students do you want to be enrolling monthly for your business to grow to where you want it to be? Is that 10, 20, 30? So once we've got that number, we can set goals and targets around that. So another important one, and this comes under like a little bit of branding, is how do you want people to think, feel, and see when they interact with your business? So I want to, um, I want you to now go to a place, maybe your favorite coffee shop or your favorite business. Maybe you've not thought about this, but it's really important because sometimes it's done at a subconscious level is when you go to your favorite coffee shop, how does it make you feel? How do people greet you? What colors impact you? And it's, it's really important. Our environment is everything to learning. So, what do you want people to think? So for me, that's when people come through the door, I have the word commitment and I'm, people can feel commitments. They can feel that I'm on side. They can always hear kind and uplifting words. So that's just a few ideas to jot down. And if this is applicable for you is number of employees. Now, maybe you're just starting out thinking, I just want to find my first students. But maybe in three years, that has grown beyond you with this plan. And you're, you're at that stage where you're thinking about employees. So if that's applicable, write that down. So there's a few clarity questions that are just really going to help. Okay. Now, I hope through just asking you a few of these questions, you feel a shift inside. Maybe feel more inspired, more empowered. And that's what this is about today. If you are new to teaching, I also have a free PDF guide to planning your first session. It covers everything you need to know to make a powerful first impact with your students. And you can download this right now using the link in the description other things to consider. Okay, make sure when you write this, it's crystal clear. Okay. So like I say, with clarity comes confidence, self-confidence for you to grow this business from, um, I remember a past business um, mentor of mine saying, um, if you put vagueness out into the universe, you get vagueness back. So the more clarity you are putting out there, the more of that's going to come back to you. And that more of that you're going to, it's going to be more attainable for you. Okay. So we want it to be measurable and very specific. So another thing is that you get your priorities from your plan and vision. And at the end um, of this video, I'm going to share just a, a bit of my business plan so you can see how I write. But so I read my business plan in the morning where I feel most inspired. 
And then I take, and then that gives me my priorities and my plan for that week for the actions that I'm going to take. So I'm not leaving it to chance. It's giving me the best actions to take and the best use of my time. Okay, so focusing on one thing improves everything else. So if you're focusing on, let's say, um, delivery, the delivery of your lessons, connection, and what people think of your business, then that's going to improve the number of people who are going to enroll because you're going to get more referrals. Okay, so try to see your business as a living, organic thing. You also want to include retention and attendance rates. Very, very important as well. And I got asked this in my early days of growing my school. My business mentor was like, what's an acceptable attendance and retention rate? Now, mine was, to be honest with you, um, back in the day, mine was terrible. It was like 40, 50%. I had so many dropouts. Um, it was unreal. So, you know, I'm like, okay, I want it to be around about 60. My business, really? So we ended up going to 95. So attendance rate and uh, retention rate of 95%. So just by having that in my vision and my plan and being up here, I actually excelled that. It became 99%. So even if you don't feel, even if you have a low retention rate and a high dropout rate, please put that into your business plan because you're gonna figure out how to get that attention rate higher. And with every percentage you get that attention rate higher, again, it's growing your business, okay? The more, the, the better attendance you have, the more, the, the more consistent the student is, the higher the retention. Now, I don't want to go off topic here so because this is a business plan, but that's why I'm just saying it's important to have that. Okay, let's go on to the next thing. If you are struggling to get your music school off the ground or to even start a music school, then I'd love to help. You can schedule a free discovery session with me using the link below. We want to write the business plan like you are already living that vision. If just so let's dream again here. Imagine that you're three years out and you're living this vision. What would you be doing? What would you be saying? What would you be spending your time on? Okay, so you've got to write it like that. So for instance, I know we're, if you're watching this video now, it's January 2024. So you could write, it's January 2025, and I am incredibly proud of myself for attaining X amount of students reaching this six-figure business. So you're writing it from a place that you're already living it, okay? And then there's the SMART goal. Now, if you've not heard of a SMART goal, um, it's specific, it's measurable, it's attainable, and it's relevant to where you are and it's time bound. So when we write this vision, we, we want it to either be one, two or three years. I recommend going three years because when we go three years, it allows us to dream bigger than one year, okay? So there you go. And your plan is an organic living document. So that means it's not written in stone as things come up, challenges and problems, um, you can adapt and edit and things with your documents. So, and I promise things will come up and things will change. So it's always an organic living thing that you revisit. For me, it's daily. And I'd say at least once a week, but daily, you're more likely to achieve it. Okay, let's keep going. If this video is helping you, hit the like button and please leave a comment on your biggest takeaway or if there's anything you're struggling with and I reply to every comment. I really appreciate you be, from being here today and if you're still in this video, I know that you're the type of person 
you, you're going to be one of the game changers and you're going to build this business of your dreams. So I honor that and I'm just showing my appreciation. Okay, so other things that you can also include in this document. So operations of the school. How's it going to operate? Are you going to be teaching from home? Are you going to have a commercial location like I have here? Um, uh, how many teachers? Um, what time you're going to be teaching? Days, things like that. So that's the operations and any systems that you're going to have in place. Products and services. So for me, I teach. So that's my first thing teaching, but I have other products which um, I create passive income from. So I have two um, tutorial books on Amazon which create a passive income. I also have um, a YouTube channel, not this one. Um, if you want to check it out, it's called At Guitar For Kids, David Aldridge. It's an incredible channel. It's doing incredibly well. So I get paid from that. So these are other products and services. I also run workshops, showcases, things like that. So you're not just um, teaching, there's other revenue revenue streams as well. And again, this, this video, I just wanna keep it to the, to the business plan, so we're not gonna go there, but okay. So should include a marketing plan. How are you gonna find students and build, um, anchors into your business where you've got like this marketing tab that you can just turn on to keep growing. Student numbers, which we've talked about, retention rate, revenue streams, and number of employees. I know we've just talked about that, but these are the important things to include. All right, so now I'm just gonna share um, a sample business plan. What I wrote um, last year. So first of all, title it, David Aldridge Guitar Schools. And then I always <laughs> like to put my um, my statements just to remind me like my impact. So we provide kids with the foundation for becoming the best version of themselves. So that's what we help children with. I predominantly teach children, but I do teach adults as well. So our schools are a relaxed environment where kids can be creative and express themselves with a gravity around education and self-development. Students work towards something that feels good. So we always, our brand is students always, we want our students to always feel great. And they feel a purpose around their lives and it builds confidence. So, Next thing, we offer students something they can really believe in, it's themselves. It's all about the self-belief in our brand. Every experience matters to each person. So every lesson that the student takes, that experience is something that they will remember. It's very life-changing, okay? So we are celebrating a yearly revenue of 300K in December 2024. We are also targeting 500K in revenue in the coming year. The impact of these numbers helps our teachers and our team to dream big, okay? So there's just a sample and you can see it's very specific to the outcome for the student. It's very specific to the numbers and what we're gonna be targeting next year. So then, um, what happens is we take this document, this business plan, and then we create, well, I create what's called an annual plan or quarterly goals. So three month goals. And I take what's gonna be the next step and the priority from this plan. Now, I'm not gonna go into that in this video, but I do offer coaching where I can help you gain super clarity on your brand, help you write an, a, a credible business plan that's gonna serve you and your employees, and I can help you to create action steps around that, very powerful action steps that are gonna get you to where you wanna go. So if that sounds like something you, you'd like to do, then I offer a free clarity session 
a 30 minute clarity session and you can access my uh, calendar in the links below and you can schedule a free call. Okay, this is the last step for today. Your business plan as the priority of your goals. So these questions I check in with weekly, okay? I ask myself these questions weekly because again, it's all about getting this clarity. What are the important things in making this vision or plan a reality? Okay, again, I hope you're taking notes around this. How is this plan going to move your business forward or forwards? Who am I being in my business that inspires people? So this is a very much like a leadership question. How are you leading the business? Are you, are you courageous? Are you, are you, are you living into uh, courage each week? Are you being very consistent in showing up? These are all like leadership qualities that help to build your business. And what productive thinking have I noticed from creating my plan? So once you create your business plan, you're gonna think in a completely different way than just writing out goals, which most business plans are. And it could be a little bit un uninspiring. So you're gonna to start to think more productive, be inspired to take that action. So with, I ask myself these questions and I always answer them. So what productive thinking have I noticed? Okay, so productive thinking is, I've actually got an idea or a step to take this week on X to get more students through the door, things like that. Again, I wanna appreciate you. If you're at the end of this video, again, I appreciate you being here more than ever and listening because I know you're gonna be one of the game changers here who bring joy and inspire your community and become one of the, you know, 1% of teachers that go on to change the world. I am Dave Aldridge and I thank you for being here. Take care.